Hi everybody, greetings and welcome to Level Change, creating a winning atmosphere. In this episode of our video podcast, we'll learn how to perform a double leg takedown. So let's start out with three very important questions. And you can pause this video at any time to think a little longer. So number one, what's the difference between the offensive and the defensive wrestler? Two, what's a takedown? And number three, most importantly, what's a double leg takedown? Well, by the end of this video, you'll know the answers to all three. So let's think back for a second. Have you ever lifted a heavy box at home or work using the proper lifting form? Do you concentrate on using proper technique while doing squats at the gym? Or have you ever wanted to learn to defend yourself in a street fight? Go on, 9-1-1. Go on, 9-1-1. Well, all of those things are closely related to a double leg takedown. Okay, so here we go. Number one, what's the difference between the offensive and the defensive wrestlers? Well, the offensive wrestler is the one who is either on top or behind of their opponent and in physical control. And the defensive wrestler is the one who is either underneath or in front of their opponent and is being physically controlled. In this photo, the wrestler in the white shirt is on bottom and is being controlled, making him the defensive wrestler, thus making the wrestler on top in the green shirt the offensive wrestler. In this photo, neither wrestlers are in control nor have an advantage. Therefore, they are both considered to be neutral. Number two, what is a takedown? A takedown occurs when from the neutral position, one wrestler makes an aggressive move and takes the other wrestler to the ground or mat, establishing control therefore becoming the offensive wrestler. In this example, the wrestler in the white shirt makes an aggressive move, taking the wrestler in the orange shirt to the mat and establishes control. Therefore, he scores a takedown. In this video, even though the wrestler in the black is being more aggressive and takes his opponent to the mat, he never gets behind the hips to establish control. As the wrestlers return to their feet, neither is in control. Therefore, there is no takedown. <laughs> And number three, how do you perform a double leg takedown? Well, here are the steps. At this time, simply pause the video and take a few minutes to get familiar with the steps. I know that was a lot, right? Well, don't worry because we have Carter and Heiser and they're here to help us with the move step by step. But first, let's take a look at the move in real time. Now that we've seen the move in real time, let's slow it down and take a look at the individual steps. After each step is demonstrated, simply pause the video so you can try it yourself. Number one, when your opponent reaches or posts, perform an elbow pop as you create a level change and take a penetration step. Number two, drive forward into your opponent, keeping your head on the outside of their body, securing both legs, and getting what we say elbow deep. Number three, bring your trail leg forward into a power position. Then rotate your hips and as we say, cut the corner as you look across your opponent's far shoulder. Number four, lift your opponent into the air using your legs and a straight back as you run your feet and drive across your opponent's body. Number five, take them to the mat or the ground and establish control. All right, now it's time to test your knowledge. Whenever the question appears, just press pause to think. Did you say green for offensive and red for defensive? Awesome, good job. If you chose A, sorry, that's called a reversal. If you chose B, that's correct. Great job.
If you said B, you're correct. Great job once again. I really hope you've enjoyed this video podcast demonstration on how to perform a double leg takedown. Before we leave, let's review our three main points. Whoa.